welcome to our video tutorial series today's tutorial is tutorial number 3 remote control interfacing in this tutorial we will learn how to interface a microcontroller with this kind of infrared remote controls and to accept the command sent by this from the microcontroller and act according to that these kind of remote controls are very common these days and you can find a couple of them in your house a compatible remote control is also shipped with the x board so you can use that one also now let us see how the this remote control works actually every key on the remote control has a unique key code and when you press a key the internal circuit converts it into a, a 8 bit code which is sent from this infrared led in the form of pulses the infrared rays sent from this infrared led is not visible with the naked eye but you can see it with the help of the camera infrared rays sent from the remote control can be received with the help of this kind of infrared receivers which as you can see is integrated in the x board this makes infrared remote control interfacing very easy now you may realize the power of using an infrared control remote control you are just sparing one io line of the microcontroller and you are getting so many keys on the remote control and uh, as you can see you can use the remote control the various keys on the remote control to perform different operations but with the power that you are getting comes some difficulties and the most difficult part is that interfacing a remote control is not so easy and that is why not so many people use it to simplify the task of remote control interfacing we have provided a library c library that can be used to easily interface remote controls with the microcontroller now using that library even a beginner can interface a remote control with their project the libraries are provided on the support cd now let us open the cd now browse to the scpi folder and now open ir remote folder and these are the infrared remote control interfacing library files now copy these files to your project folder now as you can see we have created a new project in avr studio to learn how to create a new project please see our previous tutorial now we have added the lcd and remote control library files to our project to learn how to do this please see our previous tutorial for this example we'll be creating a small program that would display the status of these navigation keys on the lcd screen for this first we need to know the key codes of the required keys to do this we'll be using the demo program initially provided with that code we have started the remote test tool from the demo program to know more about it please see our first tutorial small tool comes preloaded with the x board and it can be used to know the key codes of the various keys on the remote control now let us write down the key codes of the required keys right key 157 left 194 then up up key has a key code 202 down it is 158 and the last one the enter key it is 199 we have written down the key codes of the various keys required for this example let us have a look at the program the first include is the standard include next one is for the lcd module next two are for the remote control now here we are defining the main function and this is the unsigned integer variable remote command this will hold the key press the key code sent by the remote control next we are initializing the lcd system in the next line we are clearing the lcd screen and uh, next line is, it is remote init it is used to initialize the remote system remote init function is the part of the remote control library and uh, you must call it before you use any of the functions provided by the remote control library after initializing the lcd module and the remote control next we are entering a indefinite while loop and in the loop we are first fetching the key code sent from the remote control with the help of the get remote cmd function it would wait for 
till a key is pressed on the remote as soon as a key is pressed on the remote control the red the get remote cmd function will return the key code and it will be stored in the remote command variable next we clear the lcd screen using the lcd clear function and then according to the key that was pressed on the remote control we are performing different operations as we had found out previously the key code for the up key is 202 and uh, therefore when a key code of 202 is received we will be using uh, the function lcd write string and we will write the string up key on the lcd screen and uh, for the other keys down left right and enter we are performing similar functions now let us compile this program and burn it to the xcode for detailed steps please refer to the previous tutorials program the xcode using this usb avr programmer which is used to program avr mcus with the help of the usb port run the program that we have just programmed we need the lcd screen for output to connect that just insert the connector here now take out your remote control and switch on the xboard now let us start by pressing the right key now as you can see the lcd is displaying that up key left key down key enter key this is how easy remote interfacing can be when you have the x board so what are you waiting for get yourself an x board and start using your imagination to create mind blowing projects for more information and further assistance please visit 